World Bank provides loan to Pakistan for water and sanitation improvements. The World Bank recently approved 442 million US dollars in financing to Pakistan for the Punjab Rural Sustainable Water Supply and Sanitation Project. It will assist 2,000 villages and 6 million people by improving water quality and accessibility in countryside areas. The initiative will focus on enhancing wastewater management, creating a system to monitor water quality, and promoting safe water conservation and handling, as well as encouraging good hygiene practices in households. The endeavor will also help to improve the health of children and mothers who are often affected by waterborne diseases. Pakistan is a laureate of Shining World Leadership Awards for good governance and justice. Such heartwarming news Pakistan and World Bank on your major project to better the lives of the nation's people. We pray that your efforts profoundly uplift the welfare of millions of Pakistanis as they grow and prosper in the wisdom of Allah. World Health Organization, or WHO, declares COVID-19 third wave. On July 14, 2021, WHO's Director General, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, announced that the world is in the early stages of a third wave of COVID-19, mainly due to the more transmissible Delta variant in more than 100 countries, along with increased social activities and inconsistent use of proven public health and social measures. To address the dire situation, Dr. Adhanom Ghebreyesus urged that at least 10% of every country's population be inoculated by September 2021, followed by a minimum vaccination rate of 40% by the end of 2021 and 70% by the middle of 2022, while 11 billion doses are needed to reach these goals. Furthermore, WHO advised that nations should use public health and social measures consistently and adopt a risk-based approach to mass gatherings and openings. Many thanks, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ibreyesus and World Health Organization. In God's mercy, may we see the end of this pandemic soon as our inner compassion and wisdom awaken and we respect the intrinsic value of all life in a kind, vegan world. Researchers study how plants store carbon in soil. Scientists from the Technical University of Munich in Germany and other institutions recently studied how decaying plant matter adds carbon to the soil by observing the natural process in a lab. Their investigation involved mixing small pieces of plants with soil, encapsulating the mixture and waiting for three months. It was found that fungi played the most important role in the process by consuming the plant material and then extending itself deeper into the soil, thus relocating the carbon. The researchers suggested creating better conditions for the planet to store carbon by utilizing improved soil management. Many thanks Technical University of Munich researchers and team for your fascinating study into the way that soils store carbon. In the love of heaven, may all farms of the world soon switch to organic farming methods that enhance carbon storage to ensure a healthier planet. United States researchers create light harvesting nanomaterial. Scientists from Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and Washington State University recently produced a new kind of nanomaterial that can harvest light in a similar way to plants and could have bioimaging or photovoltaic applications. To achieve this, they created a modified type of protein-like structure called a peptoid and attached a cage-like structure to one end of it. They then induced the molecules to self-assemble into arrangements like those seen in nature. The material was shown to be able to absorb light of one wavelength and then emit it as another with 96% efficiency. What a fascinating project! Scientists from Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and Washington State University to mimic nature and create new materials to process light. In the kindness of the divine, 
May your research lead to ways to better the lives of all beings on the planet. Young artist's portrait of neighbor displayed at prestigious exhibition. A stunning painting of a farmer, John Tucker, painted by Mackenzie Beard from Swansea, United Kingdom, was selected for the Young Artist Summer Show at the Royal Academy of Arts in London and can also be viewed online. The ninth grader started to paint last year as a hobby during the COVID-19 lockdown and completed the portrait in about 20 hours. Besides her technical skill, Mackenzie has impressed many with her ability to capture the essence of the moment. This year, the art institution received over 33,000 submissions from students aged 5 to 19 across the United Kingdom. Mackenzie shared that she is very appreciative of all the positive comments about her artwork that she has received from around the world. Congratulations Mackenzie Beard on your gorgeous painting. May your immense talent continue to produce many more masterpieces to beautify our world in heaven's brilliance. Australian vegan food company secures funding for global expansion. Delishu recently obtained funding from Stray Dog Capital, a United States investment firm providing support to early-stage plant-based companies to expand their unique product line to Asia, Europe, and the U.S. Its meat alternative items are shelf-stable and do not require refrigeration as they are dry and can be prepared at home by adding water and oil. A range of options is available, including vegan chicken, beef, and pork. The delectable offerings are made of pea, mung bean, and wheat protein and are preservative and GMO-free with 20 grams of protein in each serving. The Australian plant-based food tech industry has seen exceptional growth in 2020 with manufacturing revenues doubling. Three cheers, Delicio, for obtaining funding for your worldwide expansion. In celestial grace, may all proteins soon be obtained from plants. United States Senate passes bill banning shark fin sales. The legislative body recently passed the Shark Fin Sales Elimination Act that would ban the sale and import of shark fins and related products. Every year, 73 million shark fins are sold on the global market and 245,000 kilograms of it are imported into the United States. Currently, sale of fiends in the nation is still legal and they are imported from other countries to make soup, but the new law would stop this and thus save lives. The United States is a recipient of four Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, three Shining World Leadership Awards for Good Governance, seven Shining World Leadership Awards for Promoting Healthy Living, and Shining World Leadership Awards for Good Governor, Justice, Protection, and Environmental Protection, and a laureate of 25 Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, three Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection, two Shining World Leadership Awards for Loving Care, a Shining World Leadership Award for Good Governance, a Shining World Peace Leader Award, Shining World Caring Leadership Award, and Shining World Super Loving Care Leadership Award. Our appreciation, United States Senate, for passing this act to stop the import and sale of shark fiends. We pray that the bill will quickly become low, to better protect the sharks and oceans in the loving care of the providence. 